Hey friends, it's Deborah. Welcome back. So today's cook with me is my flautas. I actually had some leftover rotisserie chicken and I wanted to make some flautas. So that's one of my shortcuts that I do use whenever I buy rotisserie chicken. We typically have a ton left over, so I just shred it up and make them into flautas. So if you want to see how I make my little flautas, keep on watching. Look how yummy they look. Oh my gosh, they're so delicious. So now I'm getting my ingredients ready that I'm going to use with my shredded chicken, I want to spice it up because I typically buy just regular unseasoned uh, rotisserie chicken. So I'm taking two jalapenos and I'm going to chop them up into bite-sized pieces. And I'm also going to take half of a large onion and cut that up into bite-sized pieces as well. So now you see everything is cut up and now I'm going to go ahead and get my pan ready for my chicken. So now I have my pan on the stove on medium to high heat. I'm going to go ahead and add in some vegetable oil. You can use canola oil. So now that you've added your oil, you just want to make sure that it's nice and hot and ready for your chicken. Now this chicken here, I've already shredded it. That is what was left over from my rotisserie chicken. I just shredded it. Obviously this chicken is already cooked, so I just want to warm it up. I don't want, I don't need to overdo it because I don't want to dry it out. So now that it's been warming up for a bit, I'm going to add in my jalapenos and my onions. Okay, so while that is still cooking through, I need to add in my spices because I usually buy just a plain rotisserie chicken in case I want to give some to Bella. And I'm going to add in my adobo from Goya. It is the hot and spicy. This stuff always makes me choke. I love lots of black pepper. You know that by now. my black pepper. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of salt, not too much. And I'm just using the pink Himalayan salt. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in some fresh garlic because I love fresh garlic. And it's the minced. I always buy the minced garlic. It saves me on time. So I'll do almost a whole tablespoon. Obviously everything is to taste. I did about a tablespoon of pepper, a teaspoon of salt, uh, about a half a tablespoon of the Goya, and then I just put a little bit of the Himalayan pink salt. And it's looking and smelling delicious. So I'm going to continue to cook that through for a little bit. So I'm going to grab a little piece and I'm going to taste it just to make sure it has enough spices or enough seasonings I'm going to hit it with a little bit of salt oh it's so good and I'm just going to put a little bit of the gobo in here and then I'm going to turn it off because it's it's warm through already <coughs> and it's going to go back in the oil anyway when I fry up my flapdust So I'm going to put this to the side and start prepping my tortillas for the flautas. I'm putting my pan back on the flame. I'm going to put some, um, <clears throat> I'm using pure vegetable oil. You can use canola oil. You, I wouldn't recommend olive oil. So that oil. should be good. I mean, you want to put enough in a pan to be able to cover the flautas halfway up at least. Okay, so right next to the pan, I have a plate. Because what I do first, you don't have to, but I. this is the way it it works out best for me. I'll go ahead <coughs> and fry up the tortillas a little bit before I fill them and then put them back in here. If I don't do that, a lot of times my tortillas break and I hate that. The choice is up to you. This is a local brand here. It's El Milagro. I love white corn tortillas and that's what I use. 
I used the white corn. So I'm still waiting on that. I typically take one of these disposable pans because I typically do make a lot, especially if I get a chicken from Costco. And I just put some paper towel in here to kind of catch the grease. And I have this waiting, so as my flautas are done, I'll put them in here. And then I'll just tent some foil over them. Okay, so it should be hot enough by now. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna zoom in just so you could see. See how it's bubbling a little bit? And I don't want it in there too, too long. It's just to soften it up a little bit. Okay, so honestly, this is the hardest part of the dish and it's not even hard. All you have to do is take this hot meat, I do it with my bare fingers, and put them in these hot tortillas, roll them up, and stick them in the hot oil. And I like them kind of meaty, so I'll put in a good amount of meat. And then I take them and I take them, I try to fill them towards one end. And sometimes I'll just do a couple, oh, they're so hot, and leave them there and then put them all in together. Fill and roll. Okay, so I have four ready to go. I don't put toothpicks or anything like that. You just need a couple of seconds for it to start f forming in the oil. Stick it in. There's the next one. Now. So while those continue to cook, because you want them nice and golden brown, I'm going to go ahead and finish the other ones I have here. You want to be careful because you did put little pieces of jalapeno and onion. So some of it comes out sometimes and it'll start popping at you, so be careful. So now by the time I've already put finished putting in what I have done, I could see that my first three or four are starting to turn golden brown. So I'm just going to flip those. See that? Kind of flip it. So I'm going to continue and fry these up until they're golden and then I'll show you what they look like at the end. Okay, so these are now golden brown now, and I want to take them out and shake any excess oil and then just put them in my pan. These over here I need to flip. Yeah. And these I'm going to take out. I'm going to grab it, shake it, put it in my pan. And shake out the excess oil, put it in my pan. So you can see up close what they look like. They look and smell delicious. So I'm just going to tent some foil over this while the rest continue to cook. 
Okay, friends, so as you can see, they're all done. I ended up getting 12 flautas out of that little bit of chicken, which is good. And they're nice and golden. They're perfect. And I typically serve them immediately. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate them up and show you how I typically serve these. So friends, this is how I typically plate it up. Sometimes I do serve it with rice as well. I made a homemade salsa, homemade guacamole. This was so delicious. Please give me a thumbs up if you like these type of videos. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button down below and I will definitely see you at the next one. So friends, I really do hope that you enjoyed that cook with me. I absolutely love them. They're so easy to make and obviously they taste so good. So I just finished eating dinner and cleaning up my kitchen and pretty much the kitchen is now closed for the evening but before I closed out the video I just wanted to share with you this diffuser that InnoGear has sent me. It's a premium 300 milliliter aromatherapy essential oil diffuser. It's wood grain ultrasonic cool mist humidifier and it has seven different LED light colors. There's seven of them. It has auto shut off and you can use it anywhere. I've been using this one in the kitchen or sometimes I'll even use this one in my master bathroom. And it was very interesting because right before they reached out and asked if I wanted to test it out and review it, I had just told my husband that I was going to go online and look for a new diffuser. <laughs> I am not even kidding you. See, positivity, speak it into existence. Gotta be positive, people. So I'm just gonna show you how I use my diffuser. Now that, you know, I did a lot of frying, a lot of cooking, so there's a lot of different scents in my kitchen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse lemon essential oils. That way it just kind of starts smelling nice and fresh. They send you a cup and it has the max line on there so you just fill it up to the mat or to however you want I always use bottled water obviously I'm gonna put the water in and then I'm gonna go ahead and add in about six seven drops of that lemon I'm going to put my lid on over. And I'm just going to plug it here into my kitchen island. And now we're just going to turn it on using the power button. I think this is so cool because I love the wood color. So cool in the kitchen. I'm going to dim my lights. That way you can see the colors. But isn't that so cool? Let me raise you up a little bit. Of course, those are like my favorite colors, the pinks. And it already is diffusing my kitchen. It's stabilizing the scent of all the frying. And it just looks so beautiful. I absolutely love it. I love it. I just let it go. Sometimes I just leave it on because you could switch it and leave it on to the color that you want. So as soon as the pink comes up, we'll switch it and leave it on to the pink. I'm going to link this product down below. It's really nice. I absolutely love it. It's great for your home. It's great for your kitchen, for your bathroom. It's a great gift. I absolutely love it. Sometimes I like to diffuse this while I'm taking a bath. There's just so many things that you can do. I love using essential oils. Comment down below, let me know if you use a oil diffuser. But guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you go and check out this product. It's very nice. I absolutely love it. I'm so thankful. I want to thank InnoGear for sending me this wonderful product and for giving me the opportunity to review it, which I absolutely love it. You guys know I wouldn't recommend anything I wouldn't use myself. I absolutely love it. I love the wood. It gives the kitchen some warmth because my kitchen is so bright white. So I absolutely love it. All right, guys, have a wonderful evening, and I will catch you at the next one.